Next, we are playing Finesse. Finesse is another in the long line of monster pop hits from Bruno Mars. Finesse uses funky hip-hop shuffle style along with infectious harmonies and catchy riffs.
who were playing Dancing in the Street. Dancing in the Street was recorded in 1964 by Martha Reeves in The Vandals. This moderate tempo rocker became a signature of the Motown sound. John Watson's soulful version of the jazz ensemble stays true to the original feel while adding a bit of contemporary feel. flair. Dance like no one's watching. Paul Clark's high energy Latin rock tune cooks from the start to finish and sounds like a combination of the Carnival in Rio and Mardi Gras New Orleans.
Jazz Award. This is in recognition of outstanding achievements in the field of jazz as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is hereby presented to Victor Arias. Victor's done a lot of work in jazz, particularly this summer. He and Francisco went to a jazz camp at Case and performed with all sorts of professional musicians, and they are both um, going to be music ed majors in Cleveland State this fall, so I'm excited for the future work they'll be doing in the field as well. And last but not least, I heard a couple people notice, um, on the program, if something doesn't look quite right, I tried this thing with the cloud where I set everything up to it and it didn't come back down the right way. So now I know for tomorrow's program it'll be just fine, so I apologize if I mistitled you or something on that. All right, at this point, we will now transition into the auditorium for the concert band portion of our program. So bear with us for about five minutes as we change scenes here. here, but you will see shortly, is the Harvey Concert Band. Um, this is comprised of over 100 Harvey High School students, so it's a very, very large band for this type of format. So we work really hard on balance and trying to make things as clean as possible with so many people, and I think the students have done an outstanding job this year. Um, they put together more pieces than I've ever had a concert band do, so they work really hard and they have a really good show playing for you. Um, you also notice throughout the show we've done a couple of movie themes, and I try to do those every year because it's extremely relevant. That's pretty much where these instruments past this level are used in the professional field, so I like for the students to get to experience that, and a lot of these tracks aren't even watered down, they're pretty close to the original scores as well, so they do a very good job conveying the message to the film as well. So I will go ahead and turn it over to our students as we start our concert band portion of the program.
As a pilot, you join the ranks of those less bound by conventional limits on time, distance, and personal freedom. You take off to wide open skies in any direction on the compass. But more than that, it's freedom as you've never known it, far from the commonplace. Finally, being a pilot symbolizes individualism and self-reliance. You are in control and you make the choices. There's nothing like the experience of flight except possibly the experience of music, as the enthusiasm of both can be found in this piece. Enjoy into the clouds. Released in 1940, represented Disney's boldest experiment today, bringing to life his vision of blending animated imagery with classical music. What had begun as a vehicle to enhance Mickey Mouse's career blossomed into a full-blown feature that remains unique in the history of both animation and music.
I got a special treat for you. They, they accidentally opened the wrong video, so we're gonna do the right one this time. It's even better, I promise. It's like 1080p and the music's gonna line up this time, but I was thinking, do I just go with it? But we're gonna do that again. And we now present the Sorcerer's Apprentice. The Great Locomotive Chase. Robert W. Smith brings the thrill of American history alive. Inspired by the Civil War era train chase, 
This programmatic work depicts the what becomes known as the boldest adventure of war.
Cool is by far the jazziest tune from Bernstein's West Side Story and is nothing short of its of iconic in its appeal and longevity. Combining a medium swing style with angular riffs and a cocky attitude from one of the most famous musicals of all time, rhythms, moves, ac accents, the title says it all, they're cool. Blockbuster movies equally powerful, an action-packed soundtrack scores features themes including an ancestral claim, the waterfall fight, kill a manga, and United Nations slash the end titles. This piece will leave you crossing your arms and chanting Wakanda forever, presenting Black Panther.
when it's evening. This selection features three traditional melodies which have become familiar through popular usage. This piece begins with Bonaparte's Retreat, Simple Gifts, and 8th of January, which prefers to the date which ja Andrew Jackson and his army defeated the British and the ba in the Battle of New Orleans.
A day at the circus takes you on a musical tour where you will meet clowns who will make you laugh, breathtaking acrobats, lion tamers, aerialists, and even the human cannonball. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. introduce our ring master over here. This is Mr. Wright. He's a math teacher at the high school. Uh, Mr. Wright and I were in band together in high school, so it's awesome to come here and come or skyrocketing from a springboard, traversing the terrifying tightrope, or ascending to awesome altitudes. Our acrobats and aerialists will amaze and enthrall you. We now salute the acrobats and aerialists.
Steel teeming with tricksters to mirthful men on stilts that reach to the stars. Those conniving and cantankerous clowns always keep us cackling. Now, here they come, those masters of merriment, those most garrulous of goofballs and persistent of pranksters, the clowns. safety belts and hang on to your hats, you are about to witness the most dangerous and death-defying demonstration to be conceived by mere mortals. First, you will hear the thunderous repercussion of the cannon, then gasp as through a cloud of silver smoke soars the heroic human cannon. bears riding bikes, silly seals balancing balls on their beaks, terrifying tigers tamed, pal paltritudinous pachyderms prancing, and huge hippopotami balancing on barrels. The menagerie always delights. We know you'll thrill to the amazing antics of our circus menagerie. Thank you. 
and gentlemen, children of all ages, we thank you for joining us for a day at the circus. Our grand finale, the post-performance parade, is the ultimate opportunity to observe and applaud each of our outstanding entertainers. Very, very great show planned with um, some pipe organ and all sorts of special surprises. So please come out and attend. And before I close this, our band booster president, Mr. Rick Montgomery, would like to say a couple words. Good evening. Thank you, everybody. We're very, very glad that you came out this evening. Um, as Mr. Jones said, I'm Rick Montgomery, this year's band booster president. I would like to take just a moment here to thank all of our seniors. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been my privilege to be able to work with you for the last four years, and in some cases, five. Um, I wish you all the very, very best that life has to offer. I know you're all going to do very well. And I believe, and if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me, but I believe that this is the largest graduating class of senior band members in RV history. So give them a round of applause for that. The unfortunate part of setting a record, next year's class is bigger. Um, I'd like to invite any parents that are here to please come to the next band booster meeting. It is June the 3rd. We have it at 7 o'clock right here in the library. You're all welcome to come. Uh, we really could use your help for volunteering, for working in the snack bar in the fall, for helping with uniforms, to help pick up foodstuffs and just run things around. Uh, I know that sometimes work schedules get in the way, but believe me, anything you can do from home would be even a huge help for us. Um, I would like to just give you a little anecdote of what happened here over the weekend while we were in Hershey. Whenever we go on any of these trips, I try to get the opportunity to talk to someone from the organization that hosted it. And on this last trip, there was a young man who was opening the gates to let us in to show us where to go and then close the gates when we came back out. And I talked to him for a minute and I said, uh, what would you think? And he said, you guys are amazing. He said, this is an absolutely phenomenal group. And I smiled and I thanked him and I said, I'm sure you have to say that to you know all of the bands that come through. And he went, oh no. He said, there are bands that come through here that are awful. He said, the students are so horribly misbehaved and the music is so terrible. He said, you guys are amazing. He said, we'd love to have you back here again. That's a testament to you because of how you've raised them. So give yourselves a round of applause, please. <laughs> Thank you again for all being here this evening. We hope you had a great time.
thank you again for coming out, and we hope to see you all tomorrow at Lake Erie College at 6 p.m. Have a great evening.